Hi there, it's Dave uh, from uh, VideoFXUniverse.com and today's tutorial is in 3D Studio Max where I'll be showing you how to uh, create a biped on a character. Now this is not as uh, difficult as it seems, it's very very simple, you just need to know the basics. Now obviously um, you'll have um, a character um, outstretched arms and legs like this. Um, sometimes it will come in um, one big mesh and other times it will come in separate parts. As you can see there are quite a few parts with this. Okay, um, and uh, yeah, basically what we need to do to create our biped is um, uh, select all of the objects in the scene okay, and right click and freeze a selection. Okay, now we go over to this button here OK, and we click Biped. We'll click down here on this button here to maximise the viewport. Right where the where his feet are, click, hold and drag your biped in. OK, release. Uh, make sure that in all the different viewports um, he's actually positioned inside the mesh of uh, the character that you want to um, edit. Okay, so this is looking quite good, it's looking in position. Right, what we want to do is basically place the biped inside the character. Okay, um, so basically the um, he, he's like the skeleton for, for the um, outside skin. So what we want to do, um, I'm just going to maximise this view here, and I'm going to select this foot here, and then go up to the, to the animation panel, as you can see here, and click on this button here, which is uh, figure mode. Okay, now this is what you'll be working with when you want to um, edit your um, biped, change the size of it, um, and all the rest of it. Okay, now what I want to do is drag this leg so that it fits in this uh, foot here, and the same here as well. And as you can see, it's not actually um, positioned inside properly, so if I just come back out of this, uh, get the side view, what we want to do is uh, try our best to get it centered. So what you want to do is go up to here, click on the, uh, the BIP1, you can actually uh, change the name of that, make sure you highlight that uh, I'm going to change that to Officer okay. uh, now with that centre of mass selected, we'll just bring it back slightly okay, now he should now he should seem like he's inside uh, the body a bit more Okay. Um, make sure that feet go into the shoes and the legs go into the legs. Now obviously you can rotate these as you can see um, you can scale them up and down so it's not a problem at all but I'm happy with the, uh, the size of that for this moment actually if I just bring that up a little bit. Uh, what you want to try and do is fill the, um, the space as much as possible inside the body so for instance the leg here I want to do is bring that one back in a bit more and rotate it back out okay and I just want to sort of scale it up so it takes up quite a lot of room inside his leg okay and basically you do this for each of the body parts and each of the limbs um, so they, they pretty much cover the entire um, inside of, of the mesh okay right next comes the arms okay now so um, as you can see the arms are outstretched here um, and if, if I actually zoom right in you'll notice that a biped only has one finger now to change that click on the structure down here and we change the amount of fingers he has so he obviously has five on each hand so make sure you select five um, and if you look at your hand you know that you you know you don't just have um, one link in your hand you have um, about three of them so what I'm going to do is uh, change this to three so he has three different finger links um, this will apply to both uh, hands, as you can see. Um, and like I say, this is quite an interesting tool because you can actually create uh, a tail, you can create a long neck, um, and you can not, like um, form it to shape uh, any sort of person or creature. Okay. So, but what we're going to do here is going to click on the, um, the hand here, then click on this button here, uh, which means that it links both the hands. As you can see, now both hands are selected. Okay. And wh whatever you do happens you know works the same way see they both do the same thing but we're just going to um, play around with this and as you can see like I say whatever you do with the left hand does with the right hand okay uh, however if you if you try and move the hand up 
you'll see it doesn't work because it moves um, in the same direction that the other end goes in. However, if you choose this arm here, okay, and revolve, that, see, that moves up and down like that. But if we select both of them at the same time, look, both of the arms move up at the same time. And um, as you can see, they're a little bit higher than the arm itself here, okay? So what we want to do is find this button here. It's basically the um, the collarbone. Um, and click this twice, so both of them are selected. And I'm going to move it down, okay, just a little bit, so that his arms now fit onto the mesh, okay? Now again, okay, we need to uh, model, the, um, model the arm so that it fits perfectly in the arm of the mesh and this one as well okay Let's move that a bit more up that way now this is the most difficult part about this is actually putting the fingers inside the um, the fingers of the mesh and if I zoom right down on this okay you can um, click on the first link here and you can actually move it around you see, so it doesn't have to be in one place. So I'm going to move it just about here, and I'm going to just move it there a bit. As you can see, it pokes out the um, end of the finger slightly. So what I'm going to do is just scale this down just a tiny bit, okay? And you do it with the um, the second one as well. Move it up so that it placed over the finger of the mesh, and this one here, okay. This needs to be rev rotated a bit, okay? Uh, scale this down a little bit and this one as well so that it fits just inside the finger okay right that's looking good now the thumb can be quite awkward I, I mean I'm not going to lie with you on that one the thumb is placed in a very awkward position and it can be quite annoying so if I just go right up here I can see right exactly where it's placed and as you can see it's not where it should be, okay. So what I'm going to do is get a side angle on this. I'm going to use this one up here actually, so I can see what I'm doing a lot easier. Okay, and I'm going to move the thumb down here, like like so. Okay. Let's just have a look at that. Now we need to turn this one out. Okay, a little bit more fiddling around, and eventually you'll get it positioned in the hand. Okay, right. Now, as you can see, I finally placed all the fingers inside the uh, the glove here. Okay. Like I say, all we have to do is mess around with it until it fits perfectly in there. Try your best to try and get the um, each knuckle positioned correctly with the glove because otherwise animation can be a bit tricky. Now, um, you have to do the same thing with the other hand. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole um, explanation again because you should have got the um, the idea from the first hands. But so uh, basically, we're going to move on um, after I've completed this uh, this hand here.